everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the trifold shutter card. I'm going to show you how to do this card right here. First, you want to start with a um, 6 by 12 sheet of cardstock. There you go. So you've got your 6 by 12 inch piece of paper. If you have a scoreboard, you want to take your scoreboard and you are going to score the paper at 2 inches, at 4 inches, at 8 inches, and at 10 inches. Okay, then once it's scored, you want to take your paper cutter again. You want to turn it this way, long way, and go in about one inch and a half. Okay, you want to cut it at the 10 inch score line and cut down to the 2 inch score line. And you flip it and do the same on the other side. You go in one and a half inches, you cut from the 10 inch score line down to the 2 inch score line. So now, this is what you've got. Now you want to take it and you want to fold it. Um, it doesn't matter which, which side you start with, but you fold this out, then back, then out, and back. Okay, now whatever you did on the top, you do the opposite on the center piece. So here we went out, so here on the center we're going to go in. Here we went in, so out here we're going to go out. So now you've got your top and your center done. Now the bottom you're going to do the same as the top. So here it's out, so you're going to go out, in, and out. Um, I usually close that up, score it all up, and you've got your card. So now all you have to do is decorate it. Now to lay it flat, I do have a magnetic mat, so I just kind of put some magnets on there to hold it flat while I decorate it. And I, I don't have any real measurements. I literally just stick the piece of paper on the mat, see where it lines up, put a little mark, put another little mark, and this here is just scratch paper. So you'll see I have this little thing, but we're going to cover that so it doesn't matter. So we're just going to use it. So then again, I take the paper cutter, and we just cut it down to the size that we marked with our pencil. There. And there. All right, so then we're going to stick that right there. And if it doesn't line up the way you want, you can always adjust it. Just attach it with that up a little better. Oh, it's a little better. Anyhow, so alright. Now for uh, time purposes again, I've already got everything measured, so I'm just going to quickly go through and um, just put all the pieces on. Now the paper that I used, the printed paper was out of the um, out of a die cuts with the view spring pack, and the, um, the the plain papers that I used on this card were actually from Recollections, which is the Michaels brand, and it's the gemstones. So it's kind of a pearl, um, a pearly. Look, they're really super pretty. So we'll that. And here, on these long pieces, I actually did run through the Sizix, actually the cuddle bug. I used the Sizix um, heart. I don't know the name of this one. It was one of the ones that was here for Valentine's. So I did use that on this to give it a little dimension. Um, 
and I have two of those. So those will go there. Okay. Now this one also from the one of the spring packs. Alright, now this last piece, I also used um, the same red from the same, but I used the um, the dots. I don't know this one either. It is a Cuddlebug folder, and it's, um, let's see, it's this one right here with the small little dots. So I did run it through there to make this kind of dimensional as well. Now the center piece, I cut it about the same exact size as that square. And then I used this paper cutter. It has different little um, cartridges you can put in there to make different cuts. This is the large scallop. So you do have a scalloped edge around this one. Um, I did not pop dot this. I just did regular, um, just regular ATG permanent adhesive. Okay, next thing we're um, going to do is the heart. Now the heart, I cut the heart from Sweetheart's cartridge, and that was at three and three quarter inches. So I just put it here in the center. Um, I did put pop dots on the back of that, so there are pop dots there. Now the Be My Valentine, I did cut the Be My Valentine out at uh, seven and three quarter inches, and that one is also that one is from the Wild Card. Wild card cartridge has be my Valentine and seven and three quarter inches. So then we just put that right on the heart. Okay. Now for the center, the little girl that is from a child's year. I did pop dot that one as well. I ran it through the cuddle bug as well, and I did use the same dots folder for that one. So I just stick that right on there. It kind of pops it up a little bit. Now I did add some Martha Stewart glitter glue. Um, you can use stickles, whatever. Um, and I did color in this heart so it kind of give it a little, little bling. All right, now um, for the this part here, we did the XOXO and I cut that out at one and three quarter inch, and I used the Sweethearts cartridge for that one as well. I think I just put that upside down. And I, on these ones, I just used the Xyron, ran them through the Xyron real quick. Okay, and then just to add a little bit of bling, I just used the IROC, some of these jewels. Um, I just added a few down here. Um, I used three little ones just right here on the, ah, there, one, two, three. Anyways, you get the idea. So I just did three little ones right there, and that is it. That card is pretty much done. Um, so we've got it magneted down. But this is your finished project. This is your finished card. I added some bling right there as well. Um, that's what it looks like when it's done. And over here, and then the card standing up is really pretty. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed, and hope you go and make a trifold card. Till next time, talk to you later. Bye.